Hello, I'm George Longstreth from the Kaiser Permanente Plan in San Diego. I conducted this study because there were so few population-based data. Case identification methods in reported series had varied widely, and there were few data on long-term follow-up. I conducted the study in the one-half million member San Diego Kaiser Health Plan, an integrated healthcare system. Initially, by assessing ICD-9 codes for the three bowel ischemia uh, disorders, and then using extensive record review. The definition was abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, or diarrhea starting less than 10 days before admission, plus one of four diagnostic evidence levels. In addition, there was no evidence of colitis during an average of two and one half years follow-up. There were 401 patients who had 424 hospitalizations. The median age was 69 years, and the incidence rate increased markedly with age. The female-male ratio was nearly 3 to 1, and notably all 11 patients less than the age of 40 were women. 94% of episodes began before admission whereas the other 6% began in patients who had already been hospitalized for surgery or were being treated for another medical problem. Comorbidities were common, especially hypertension present in three-fourths of patients. Treatment was usually non-surgical, but in 8% of cases, surgeons resected large bowel, six times as often in those when the illness began after admission as before, and 10 times as often when there was right-sided or bilateral ischemia versus other distributions. In half of these patients who had surgery, it was done less than 48 hours after admission for an acute abdomen. Multivariate regression analysis revealed six factors associated with severe disease, that is, surgery and or mortality. These were right-sided or bilateral distribution, onset of disease after hospitalization, hypotension, tachycardia, warfarin use, and antibiotic treatment in the hospital. In, an, in addition, male sex was a factor. There were two factors associated with less severe disease, NSAID use and rectal bleeding. Mortality was 4%, 2% in those when the illness began before admission versus 33% when it began in the hospital. There was no evidence of chronic colitis in long-term observations, and only one patient developed a symptomatic stricture. However, Kaplan-Meier methods revealed a progressive recurrence that reached 10% at five and six years after the initial episode. In summary, this is a common problem, especially among the elderly and in women, and rarely occurs in young women. It is usually left-sided, begins before admission, in which cases Surgery is unusual and outcome is excellent. The association of NSAID use with less severe uh, disease suggests a possible preventive method as NSAIDs prevent acute myocardial infarction and stroke. The paradoxical male predominance among those with severe disease suggests there may be sex-related differences in colonic blood flow or autoregulation of flow. Chronic sequelae are rare, but recurrence is substantial. I hope these findings aid patient care and contribute to further research.